Moving on now to some of the developments coming in from the courtrooms today. First up, Reliance Infra is under pressure after the Supreme Court sets aside 8,000 crore rupees arbitral award and upholds the DMRC's curative plea. In fact, our colleague Ashmit Kumar has been closely following all the developments in the courtrooms, joins us now to discuss in details about this particular matter. Tell us, Ashmit. Well, this is a huge setback that has come in for our infra. Let's bear in mind that it was in the year 2017 that an arbitration tribunal had held in favour of Reliance Infra and had slapped that arbitral award on DMRC, Delhi Metro uh, Railway Corp. Now, over the years, with the interest component, this arbitral amount has added up to 8,000 crore rupees. Now, what's important is that there were a series of judgments, first by the Delhi High Court, then by the Apex Court, which had upheld it. The DMRC, however, had filed a curative petition before the top court. Uh, and at this curative petition, it was heard in this, uh, it was heard in reserve on February 15th and importantly, uh, the Supreme Court in that curative application has held that it had erred. The Supreme Court has turned its judgment around and said that it made a mistake in allowing for that arbitral award, uh, that that arbitral award has slapped a huge uh, liability, a huge burden on Delhi Metro, which is a public utility, that this amounts to a miscarriage of justice, that there is an illegality as that arbitral award is concerned. And with that, has struck down that 8,000 crore arbitral award. What that means now is that our infra that was hoping on receipt of this 8,000 crore rupees, that money will not be coming their way. Importantly, the Supreme Court has issued directions that whatever funds may have exchanged hands by the DMRC in this interim period will have to be returned. The execution proceedings in the Delhi High Court will have to get halted. And most importantly, Delhi Metro, as per this latest order of the Apex Court, is now free of that liability of 8,000 crores. Back to you. Well, Ashmit, stay on with us. Another